the many images that went viral after the Boston Marathon bombings, this was one of them, showing an officer carrying two jugs of milk to bring to a family stuck at home during Friday's lockdown. News Channel 5 Stephanie Ramirez sat down with local officials to talk about that lockdown and the impact it had in this Boston Marathon bombing investigation. I mean, it's an unusual event. The lockdown surprised many people as the manhunt heated up around Boston. But Akron University political science professor Terry O'Sullivan says it was the lockdown that aided authorities to close in on their suspect, even though there was always a risk. The public can be panicked if you do it, and, if, and also uh, they may just not decide not to comply. But they did, giving police info along the way, all evidence of the bigger picture, or what O'Sullivan says is a successful emergency management plan. O'Sullivan, also the university's associate director for emergency management and homeland security research, says. Getting people coordinated and getting them to, to the message out it's all very complicated, so it's not something you do lightly. He says the impact of not having one was seen firsthand during 9-11. Tremendous bravery and, and dedication among the police department and the fire department, but they couldn't, the radios didn't communicate with one another. And even the radios that they did have uh, were overwhelmed because the system wasn't set up well. Now there are federal outlines in place that guide local, state, and federal agencies when it comes to working together. We are uh, well prepared to hopefully detect and disrupt and if not respond. The Cleveland area hasn't really gone under lockdown in recent years, but Northeast Ohio does have a fusion center where local, state, and federal leaders physically work together from one location to carry out an emergency management plan. Something Westlake Police Captain Guy Turner says is just as important for surrounding areas as it is for major cities. Half the battle is knowing who your counterpart is. If you know who the head of the local division of the FBI is, you've already got a face-to-face -face relationship. It's going to go a lot easier. You've got to look at lessons learned, what worked there and what doesn't work. Going back to the lockdown. The one thing that Boston did, I think, that was both wise and also practical was that they uh, made it voluntary. Gaining that trust and understanding between law enforcement and the public. The description of the first firefight where they were throwing explosive devices out of the car, I really thought at first that has to be something out of a movie. Post 9-11, you realize we're kind of all in this together and we have to cooperate. If you're interested for more on the Northeast Ohio Regional Fusion Center or more on how you can help authorities fight terrorism, log on to our website at newsnet5.com and we'll have the link for you there. On your side, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.